This is the Oracle speaking. Be fully aware that this probe is completely unprotected and can pose a hazard to both you and your equipment. As a thinking adult, decide for yourself whether this tool is appropriate for the application. Meanwhile, back on this planet. Okay, uh, I decided to publish this video, boys, after a uh, wee bit of discussion with my pal Denis. Uh, you may know him as the Logical Canuck. Um, go check out his video here on uh, DIY uh, cup paddle probes. Um, great video, uh, pertinent to the subject matter up for discussion in this video. Um, Dave Sturl, of course, my pal, has made mention of um, the coin trick with respect to uh, scoping uh, coil on plug assemblies in his video here. Um, I recall him making that video nearly a year ago it was. He made mention of the coin trick. He deserves credit where credit is due. And um, a fella I just recently found in his channel, boys, uh, go check him out, whether you be amateur or professional alike. Um, this fella here, uh, Darren, I believe his name is, English fella, judging by his accent. Uh, nothing gets by me. Um, he makes men also makes mention of the uh, the coil. Here comes the Monty, Monty Python pointer, boys. Here it is. Uh, he makes mention of the coin trick in this video as well. So all of these guys deserve credit of some sort. So I've got the uh, cover off the engine voice and all I'm going to do is uh, take the probe and actually with the ground floating and just the uh, just the uh, just the one conductor again with the ground floating I'm just going to go to each probe individually and we'll make a comparison on the uh, on so the uh, we're in normal mode here boys I've set the trigger up I have uh, channel one which will be the yellow channel uh, all the way down the screen you'll see why in just a moment and um, yeah, the trigger is set uh, just so just so we can get a centered picture and it's no scrolling back and forth difficult to actually uh, um, consider uh, as channel one as I said um, it's a floating ground and I've got the uh, the voltage scale set for uh, 100 millivolts per division of course this is a high voltage uh, high tension system that we're dealing with but because it's a floating ground it's inducing next to nothing into the coin and then the uh, into the system so um, 100 millivolt scale in order to get a decent scale on things and uh, two milliseconds per uh, per division seems to be uh, um, just about right step through the coils one at a time and uh, and I'll call it and you'll see the difference in the trace there won't be much difference because they're all pretty similar So that's cylinder one. Cylinder two. Cylinder three. And cylinder four. Right, so there's just a snapshot I took of, uh, I think that was cylinder one actually, boys. Um, so you can see I haven't actually bothered to put any measurements of any sort on here or uh, uh, any notations of any sort, but I, I'm just looking at the, the clarity of the image, right? So I think you can see the, uh, the firing line and the spark line and the oscillations. Um, I wasn't expecting this this is a wee bit odd um is that uh is that um because of the properties of the <laughs> the probe let's call it or uh is this actually just um a characteristic of of the uh, the coil and plug uh, 
is this not unique is what I'm trying to say. Maybe it's uh, just something I'm not familiar with. That's a distinct possibility. Um, yeah, it looks, uh, the important thing is here, guys, even, even if you don't like the way it looks, I, I, I'm quite happy with the way it looks, actually. I think we could tweak it a wee bit more and get, get a better image. The, the point is, all of the cylinders looked virtually identical. So what we're looking for here is um, duplication or repeatability between the cylinders. And uh, they all look virtually identical. So much so that I had to kind of, you know, lift the probe off to make the image change a wee bit. Because they looked so identical that it didn't really look like I was changing cylinders. And that's the that's the honest truth, boys. You can believe what you want, but that's the honest truth. Um, yeah, so I'm really happy with this, right? Yeah, so that's it, boys. There's the wee tool. And because I'm an obsessive lunatic, yes, I did in fact solder again because I didn't like the way it looked. <laughs> Perfectly functional, but I'm an obsessive... Uh, yeah, I can get carried away sometimes, so I'm happy about that. And you'll notice I didn't deface the queen side. It's a Canadian $2 coin, boys. Uh, uh, it's not destroyed. You can bank on it that being the cheap bastard I am, I'm going to spend this one of these days.